So here's a bit of advice to you. Like I said, 19 minutes in a soccer game, right? For 30, of that, 30 minutes of that game, the ball is out of play for corner kicks, throw-ins, being booted into the stands. Also, it's in between players. It's in, the ball's traveling in between players. So if you do analysis of it, for 30 minutes of a 90-minute game, the ball is not in possession of any player. So if you've got 60 minutes left in a game, how many players are on a soccer field? 22 players. So if you divide 60 by 22, it's a little bit less than three. Three minutes per player with a ball. That's all you do, three minutes. And so my advice to you would be this. If you're gonna invest in something, invest in something that has a major impact on your game. Technical ability has a major impact on your game, but you cannot forget the impact, which is much greater, 90% greater. Your contribution to a team is what you'll bring to the game on a Saturday when you don't have the ball. What position do you play? Four. What position do you play? 30. Center defense? Mm -hmm. What do you do when you don't have the ball? What are some of your roles? Um, when the ball's up, you move, tell everyone to move up. Moving up, getting the defense compact, Staying compact with your midfield when you don't have the ball. I shift to the sides where the ball is and look for gaps so I can receive the ball. Look for great angles to receive passes, right? Creating space for yourself or creating space for other players but by the runs you make. You've got to be good at that, okay? Everybody wants to do stuff with the ball. If you want to be a better player, you better learn to do well off the ball. Now in that practice in there, just little angles make a big difference. Moving to the side two feet can mean the big difference between him, the defender getting his toe on it or not. Constantly, constantly moving, okay? Now, for more great drills, visit SoccerClinics.com, the world's largest coaching website. Soccer Coach TV, where coaches live.